Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back to Stone Valley here in Farming Simulator 22. We're in the gleaner. It is time to glean some barley. It is ready. All right, Cal. You got to move. Well, that's... That's the problem with having to cross the... Uh, Oh, now she's going to lay down. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I guess she's not going to go out of the gate then. Yeah, you're moving at me. You see we have the header already down here. Pull it down. And uh, just bringing the combine down. It is early in the morning here. Going to try to get some of this barley harvested up out of the field. And then, then we need to move into uh, getting some grass picked up as well. Alright, we'll just go around her there. See if we can get through the gate here without tearing it up. Tiny has gone up to the shop. He took the Kubota up there. And he is going to uh, pick up a mower for us. So while he's doing that, I figured I'd go ahead and jump in here and I get started on the barley harvest. Now I am planning to drop the straw, so we'll leave that on the field to come along and bail it up. All right, we got the header hooked up here. We're going back around. We have driven into the uh, neighbor's sunflowers there and damaged a little bit. That hopefully won't cause too much of a problem. We're going to see what this old gleaner can do. Now this is Miss Betty's. As I had mentioned before, she owns this combine. She agreed to let me use it to harvest this field. Of course, I'll, I'm sure I'll give her a little bit of money. If we end up not buying it. Because uh, she did offer, her, offer it up to us. He was not interested in keeping it around the farm any longer. So I don't know. We'll have to see how it does here in this field. We may end up buying it from her. I think I can actually just come right across over here. Well, that works out. Hopefully Tiny gets back here pretty soon. We need to, uh, to get a truck out here so that we can be ready to unload this thing. The dealership actually did have a used mower uh, in stock. So we're able to pick that up. so far so good appears to be doing a decent enough job definitely <laughs> definitely not emissions legal here we've got some uh, serious black smoke pouring out the back there See if I can get turned around here without damaging anything. Go ahead and make a little buffer around this island of trees here. I did have to go get some more uh, TMR for the cows. I had to purchase some more. 
Uh, like I mentioned before, we don't have anything to feed them. And so, I had to buy some more. But hopefully we can get some silage started today. Possibly get some hay as well. And then that way, uh, hopefully soon we can start feeding the cows with our own food. It looks like the combine is nearly full. We'll probably stop up here after this uh, little run and uh, go ahead and go get the truck. I guess Tiny has not made it back yet. So I'll just walk up there and get the truck myself. Go ahead and empty out the combine. Alright, so having to open this gate and close it every time is somewhat of a pain. I may should have put a cattle gap in here too. I may end up doing that, taking that gate down and putting another cattle gap in. So I'm pretty sure that this truck holds uh, actually a little bit less than the gleaners here. So uh, pretty much every time the gleaner is full, we're going to have to make a run with the truck. This is going to take, take a lot of effort here trying to get this field harvested. Yep, there we are. We're full. Or maybe not. I believe we are. Well, back up to the silo. Want to pull up too close there? <laughs> we'll get the gates into the front of the truck. There we go. Yeah, this is going to get old real quick. So we ended up getting uh, an auger. I did a rent to own on it. And we got this brought down here so that we could get the grain into the grain bins. So we brought that down uh, late yesterday, got it set up. So I need to get around behind this bin and open up the top of it. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the auger set up so that it dumps into the bin.
Perfect. And now we'll just go ahead and empty it in to the auger. Well, we are going to harvest this field 8,000 liters at a time. Back to work. Well, we have some bad news. The uh, gleaner's down. Don't know what's wrong with it, but it has started blowing oil and fuel and everything out of the uh, out of the engine. Uh, it was puffing smoke, running rough. I don't know what it could be. Tiny doesn't know what it could be. So he's over there checking it out. We actually ended up getting it off the field under some trees for the time being. So he's going to check it out, see what's going on. I may have to end up looking for another combine if this can't be repaired. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. But since he is working on that, I figured I'd go ahead and jump over into the Kubota here. And you see we do got this nice Kubota mower here behind the tractor uh, it was a used mower available at the dealership so we picked it up went ahead and purchased it ten thousand around ten thousand dollars but we do have a nice mower now to uh, be able to mow our fields and I'm driving over in the neighbors a little bit but as you can tell they don't have anything planted there so I don't think it's going to matter too much. Uh, the thing that concerns me, really, though, about the combine is, well, one, I really was hoping to get that barley harvested today because we do have straw to pick up. And I was hoping to go ahead and plant something in the field, maybe some grass or uh, maybe some alfalfa, something like that, just to get going while uh, we have some time for the remainder of the year but I don't know if we're going to make it yeah, if Tiny can't get that thing fixed I am going to be in a pickle things have been going really well over here at Stone Valley I haven't had too many hiccups but this is our first major uh, incident and uh, it's, it's, it's a big one The other thing I worry about is, well, how do I handle this with Miss Betty? Because she did let me use the combine, and I tore it up. So I don't know if I'm just going to have to buy it from her, from what she was offering it to me, and then just get what I can out of it. Or if she's going to be uh, kind enough to... Well, I, I don't I don't expect her to to bear the uh the brunt of that issue, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do something to make it right. Definitely gotta make it right. Uh because we do have uh her field that we are working on, so I definitely don't want to cause any grief between us. And then lose out on that other Opportunity. 
Well, the mower is working out really well. So I'm going to go ahead and get through this little field here. We have the other field that is back there. Uh, well, near the field that I was harvesting. We'll get these two mowed today and I don't know what we're going to do. We don't have a baler. Uh, we do. We don't have a rake. I do have a uh, tether, but that didn't do me much good. So I don't know what I'm going to do here. I am in a pickle once again. Well, I'm making the trip back down the driveway in another combine. The old cleaner is out of service. Tiny thinks that he can make the repairs, but it's going to take quite a few parts. And we don't know how long it'll take for them to get here. So, went ahead, just leased this uh, old case combine here from the shop. I, I guess it's just part of their rental fleet. And so, we're going to... Oh, oh boy. Brakes are a little bit soft on that. I just about wrecked that gate. Just about. Yeah, so I think it's one of their rental fleet uh, vehicles, so I went ahead and leased it. Uh, the fortunate thing is we can just use the header that we already have. Uh, that seems to be working out okay. So we'll just hook that up here to the case. And then we'll carry on. As you can see, we did make some pretty good progress around the field. We still have a long ways to go, but we are making progress. I want to ease on over here to the far side of the field. We'll start up over there. We'll give this a go here and see how it works out. Appears to be doing a pretty good job. The grain tank on this combine is actually a little bit larger than that on the gleaner, so I uh, should have to unload a little less frequently, but we still have the problem of only uh, having about 8,000 liters capacity in the truck, so I guess it really doesn't help us a whole lot. Alright, well we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on with the field here. We'll get the truck back up and running. Tiny was on break while I headed up to the shop, so I'll go find him. And we'll get him back in the truck, or maybe I'll let him run the combine. Who knows, but we'll go ahead and work on this. Try and get this field knocked out. Well, all right, me and uh, Tiny are getting the field knocked out. We are a little over halfway done with it, but we're full. This bin is full. So I need a moot auger.
do need to open the door on the top of that one. Let's close this one here. Jump in the fences. Make sure the auger's lined up pretty good. I think that'll work there. Alright, let's give it a go. So having that first bin full, we're up to a, over 170,000 liters of barley. There we go. We finally get it in there. Alright, back to the field. Oh boy, we got some cows out. We have some cows out. We're going to have to get those rounded back up. At least they're not running off. They'll stay with the herd. But, I did end up moving the auger here. Try to get it to work a little better. We're almost done. Almost done have a uh, well over 200,000 liters of barley in the rain bin. Tiny's over there in the field working on the last little section. So I think we'll have uh, maybe one truck, maybe one and a half truckloads to bring back over. And so we're about to wrap it up. Do need to get the grass mowed over at the other plot near the house and we'll get that done and then turn our attention to getting this straw up off the field. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm down to about $5,000 or so. Uh, today's been rough. I, I've kind of stretched myself thin with uh, equipment costs, salaries, things like that. So. Yeah, it has been tough. We're barely getting by right now. I'm going to have to find some little way to make some money. Somehow or another. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give that video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you had not done so already. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a blessed day.